Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Tuesday afternoon, September 7th, and with three minutes to go, showing you some little live action here. Uh, we're looking at Window Trader's market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. Uh, just got back from my little mini vacation. So we'll recap what transpired today. First off, I'd like to uh, thank my former colleague and partner, John Guys, for filling in for me today. That's one of the great things about CamelbackTrain.org's voice channel room. When I'm not there, which is rare, I have somebody filling in that used to be a floor trader along with a side of me um, with the same insight and experience that I had. So thanks again, John. So what's going on here? Well, a couple of things as we can see. First off, it looks like IWM is going out with a price probe to the downside. That's one thing we see. Second thing we see is it looks like SPY and ES do not take out their IB high or low. And what's incredibly um, a great show of goal line defense, it looks like the buyers defended last week's low in SPY by three cents. I'm assuming there's a good chance that ES has a poor low. So remember I said last week how small the range is. Well, they just defended uh, the balance, the bottom of this balance. Um, so we'll see what transpires tomorrow. Again, it was uh, with the holiday today. Um, volume light only in the 40s. Right now, it looks like we're going out with an afternoon rally high in I. We're only going to finish seven wide. Uh, triple Q seven wide. They're all it looks like we're all seven wide. Um, again, Russell going out with a price probe, and triple and triple Qs. They took out their IB high. Um, and SPY and ES did not take out either side of the IB. As far as destinations then, going into tomorrow, we'll have um, eyes high of 452.43 is our afternoon rally high. Today's high of 452.81. 453.47 daily high, 454.05 weekly high, all-time high, and 454.53 pre-market all-time high from September 3rd. For today, on the downside, we have 450.74, which is today's low. Then we have 450.71, weekly low, and then that little six-point gap at 450.65 from the 30th of August. 450.56 price probe from August 27th. 449.99 afternoon pullback low from uh, the 27th. And don't forget, we have a trend day from that day, 448.87 single prints to 02, and then 447.06 daily low, 446.16 daily low, and 445.14 weekly low. And then we have that 143 point gap getting filled at 443.71 from the 23rd of August. Um, don't forget, we have a bunch of weekly lows that coincide with some gaps. Incredibly today, an incredible goal line stand. From what I can see, again, I wasn't here, but we opened, basically had an open and drive down. One time frame down in B, it looks like they spent B, C, D, and E attempting to push. Could never even get the I, B low, let alone the weekly low. Shorts gave it up. They were uh, six for six wide. The shorts got taken out and F. It looks like momentum buying. G, H, I. It fell short. And then they basically just flushed out. L gave a little head fake, but for the most part, just weak longs getting out and shorts pushing down again at the end of M period. Again, Russell goes out with a price probe to the downside. Now, the important thing with Russell is 227.35 was last month's high. They came out of it already this month to the upside. They're back inside of it. So that's something that buyers want to change and get back above last month's high and then on the spy to show you the obviously the monthly is one time framing up 11 months the weekly is one time framing up for two weeks coming into today again we defended last week's low right now so the weekly is still up and the daily is now a tight six day balance 450 71 is the low 450 405 is the high so a very tight six day balance Volume right now, 48 million. Not a surprise. Again, a lot of people take off um, at least today, if not the rest of the week. So we might not get going until next week. Can't wait to get back to action tomorrow. Hope you had a good day trading. Have a great night. And we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.